California. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I lost that. I'm, I'm meant to say the Petro in Ontario, California. Start again. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Happy Monday, you guys. Happy Monday. Man, what a Monday. What a We're Monday. Just been... Never got the air conditioner fixed. <sighs> Had plenty of time to do it all day yesterday, and I didn't do it. Lazy Not bastard. really. We didn't really have that much time because. We didn't because I well, slept in. Well, you started. You did look at. you. I started inspecting stuff. I do have the wrong venting, so I got to take all that tubing that I got from Home Depot back to Home Depot. Uh, so uh, of course we couldn't. Size. Yeah, we couldn't finish the project that because of that. But I think I can use the existing ducting to maybe Fix it. accomplish what we need, but maybe yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need like probably a whole day to do that project. And yeah. So yeah. it, it, we had bought three inch, sorry. No, no, it's okay. We, we had bought three inch and it turns out it's like 2.5 inch. <laughs> it's gotta be a special size, you know. Gotta be a special size but you that might, no like, stores sell. I'm gonna have to order it. Or like you said, we might be able to use the existing because there's a lot in there because we're not, he'll show you when he does it. When but. I finally do it, if I ever do it. I know. <laughs> I know, and we well we pick up our load this afternoon. We actually we were supposed to pick up at like ten or noon t today. Yeah. And they called early this morning and said it was now a different address and not to pick up till three. Yeah, the different address part worked out to our yeah, benefit. Yeah, it's actually made it about half the half the uh, distance. Yeah. So now picking it, it was picking up in City of Industry, or actually less than half because it was like 30 miles. Now we're picking up in Fontana, which is only like seven or eight miles. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Um, but it don't pick up till this afternoon, which uh, we got like another hour before we head out. Yeah, yeah. So we've just been kind of finishing up on video stuff today, this morning, and. Oh, we got to meet some drivers that used to drive for a tractor trailer at Landstar. Yeah. yeah. And now they're driving at Panther with Highfield. With Highfield, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Roversons. Roversons. Yeah, they were yeah. nice. They so were, it was awesome to meet them. them. I talked to him a bunch on the phone. Never knew what he looked like. Uh, I've never, <laughs> I think we're even friends on Facebook. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But uh, yeah. I've never seen a yeah. picture. And... They've been following us for a long time. And we've yeah, chatted on the phone and yeah. stuff. It was really good yeah. to finally meet them in person person and but yeah man we're there's a lot more trucks there's a couple more expediters here today a fedex one pulled uh, in there's, there's another panther the roversons are in the back. in the back they they parked in the back got another panther over here but it's still all yeah. bobtails yeah. plenty of parking still yeah yeah but luckily we're out of here today yeah and once we get the load on the truck we'll let yeah, you know yeah i don't about want to it. talk about this one too much because it's already starting to prove problematic <laughs> I know. I know. We'll hope, fingers crossed everything goes smooth and we get there and get it picked up and get out of here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, hopefully this will be a good week. I mean, this one we pick up this afternoon. We should still be able to deliver Wednesday. And uh, I don't know. We got we lose three hours because we're going all the way across oh, the country. Yeah. 2,400 miles. And I think I did look at um, where it's delivering to. I looked at like the Google. I always do that. I'll pull up Google satellite view and kind of look at do the street view and see where we're delivering where the find the docks and everything and I did see a sign there I think they're receiving is from like 8 to 2 30. yeah so it'll probably be Thursday morning we deliver <laughs> so it might be Thursday yeah I think it will be yeah but hopefully we can get another load I, it's been a while since we've been in North Carolina but I mean freight yeah. seems to be moving right now pretty good and yeah 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 we'll see what happens well, keep yeah. an eye out for yeah. loads and try to get one booked for when, after we deliver but yeah we'll anyway. make some calls um and see what happens yeah and i'm not gonna jump the gun yet i think we'll right. just play well, it safe be patient the, we gotta get this picked up first yeah before we get yeah. it on the track yeah. <laughs> before we start yeah. it's, booking loads this is going to be our heaviest load though that yeah. we've ever done it's almost it's eleven thousand pounds yeah well and uh 
We'll talk more about it. Like I said, when we get it on the truck. Cause... Yeah, we'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After we get picked up. Get and picked up, get gone. Yeah, Yeah, because who knows how long it's going to take to get picked <laughs> up and out of there. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, we'll see. Hopefully it's a good we'll week. See. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Happy. Happy actual Taco Tuesday. No, yes, Tuesday. <laughs> Turn down the bullhorn. Oh. No bullhorn this early or He's late. Tired. Man, we got picked up yesterday, as I'm sure you probably saw. Finally. We, I'll tell you about the load, picked up there in California and. The heaviest load we've ever picked up in expediting. 13,000. In our eight year expediting career. I know. 13,134 pounds of hand sanitizer. Eight pallets, yeah? Eight pallets. Yeah. And it is all in the back box. It's going to North Carolina. It's making the truck ride like crap. Oh my gosh, it is. Though it's like making it's like a buck. buck. Every it's like buck. Buck, <laughs> buck, buck, buck. We actually had to fun. put. We actually had to put our pallet jack, hand uh, jack, all that stuff in the front box because the eight pallets took up the whole back box. The whole whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, and we couldn't. You know, usually you can put your pallet jack under a pallet and leave it back there, but there wasn't even, even room for to do that. No room. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Good load though. Good load. Yeah. We were getting worried yesterday. Because yes, because they kept pushing it off and yeah, I think we might changing have addresses. That, <laughs> they changed the pickup address and then it's like, oh my gosh. Guys, I know we actually got there at uh, three and I went in to check in and she's like, oh, it's going to be a little while because I guess. It, you know how management is. They think they know how things should go, but when it comes down to the workers who actually do the work and get things done, you know, so they're making them go through all kinds of procedures and mm. picture this and scan that and then picture again. And yeah, and they're just wanting to load the freight and we're just wanting them to get it on the truck and <laughs> they got to go through all the management. They know, management knows how it's done, right? Yeah, so I think we were there a couple <laughs> hours. I mean, they were really nice though. They nice, were really nice. nice. nice yeah, people. yeah, yeah. I mean, just think, they had it, it was supposed to pick up from one place, then they changed the address, and we're like, I was wondering, I'm like, well, how are you going to change 13,000 pounds from one place to another place? And of course, what they had done was a truck, pick it up over there, and bring it over <laughs> here for us to pick up. Yes. Crazy. Management, I'm yeah. telling you. But actually, it worked out better for us, because... <laughs> It was less, where we were at in Ontario, the original address, it was like 30 miles away. Yeah, it did And kinda... that where we picked it up actually was only seven miles away. So. But if we would have been able to pick it up early, er. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get in much traffic, though. That was nice. Uh, it wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah, going up to 15 and yeah. uh, uh, Victorville, it was a little bit, but not bad. We did, uh, we did scale, go to the Catskill after we yes. got loaded just to be sure. And yeah. We're, yeah, what was our total weight? I forget. <sighs> 40. Uh, got it. On, I still got it on the email. So we, right now, 
Oh yeah, 42,200. 42,200 pounds is our yeah. total weight with the load. There's so much in back, it actually lifted 1,500 pounds <laughs> off the front axle. Yeah, our steer axles were at 10.9 and our drives were at 31.3. And empty uh -huh. were, ah, shoot, almost 2,000 pounds off the front axle. On the front, yeah, like 12, 12.2 or something, 12.4. Yeah. 12, four. yeah. 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 So, yeah, and it, like I said, because <laughs> every bouncy, every bump is a bucky yeah, ride. Yeah, yeah. That's going to make for fun sleeping. So good thing I'm uh, pretty tired. I'll be able to yeah, hopefully know. sleep through a lot of it. Hopefully. If I don't, he's going to be grumpy yelling up there at me. <laughs> but you, you are forewarned I, before I know. you go to sleep. I, I don't want to hear no grumping at know, me. I know. I know. It's a truck. <laughs> I already know. Jeez. Oh, yeah, it's we're, funny. We're, we've, been, we've talked to a couple husband and wives. Like we got to hang out with one uh, friends up in North Dakota, husband and wife. We got to hang out with uh, some friends in Barstow that came up from Ontario yeah. when we were camping there. And when you talk, when we talk to other husband and wives, it's so funny to hear the similarities of bickers we have. Yeah, things or, you argue about, or things, or that, things you that get irritated with each, each other, other about. about or, yeah, it's like the yeah, it's very similar. Very, stuff. It's so very cool. similar. It's <laughs> always the, the the husbands that's kind of drill sergeant saying <laughs> the wife's doing something wrong, and you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we, we're gonna do a video about that, talking yeah, about that because yeah. that's it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. But where where are we? We're just west of Albuquerque. Um, we're at the, where are we, Route uh, 66 Travel Plaza. Yeah. Just yeah. pull here. I'm going to take over. Let these babies out. 30 miles from Albuquerque, I think. Miles. I think you stopped in field last night. Where'd you stop in field? Do you remember? Holbrook. Holbrook. <laughs> Holbrook. Yeah, it took me a second. Holbrook, Arizona. I'm going to yeah. be fueling in Amarillo. And then, I don't know, you'll have to send me where we're where I need to put in after I that. Know this heavy low, we're getting about nine miles a gallon. Yeah. Yeah. So. But our <laughs> average mile per gallon is... Uh, Ten plus. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and that it's, includes generator usage. But, yeah, not bad. And usually when we're on long runs like this, we usually get 11, 12. But, but not with 13,000 pounds in the back. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Pretty yeah, cool. I'm, yeah. I'm excited. But yeah, all right. Well, you go get some rest. I'm yep. going to jump out. You're going to let the dogs out for me? Oh, I thought you were going to come with me to get one last little visit with me before you lay down. I guess. <laughs> we'll I. catch up with you guys later. afternoon from Amarillo, Texas. Stopping to do my 30. I just fueled up at the TA in Amarillo, which is like two miles from here. But I like this rest area because there's usually never anybody here. Let me show you. <laughs> you can see that. I don't know. But I'm the only truck here right now. When I pulled in, there was one other truck. He already left. It is super windy today. I've had a side wind most all day. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know. This camera has a wind muff. We'll find out. <laughs> but we are still a little over 1,300 miles from the drop. We're going to be stopping and fueling at a pilot in Little Rock. Jason will be uh, fueling there because we'll be doing our driver swap before then. We're still like almost 600 miles from there. Thought I'd jump on because it's been a while since I've done a clip on my 30 minute. We'll probably see you tomorrow when we do our driver swap again. Peace.
Carolina. We made it all the way to Charlotte. Yay! Uh, we what, didn't we get did. to get delivered today, though. No, no. We, we're, since they held us up at the deli at the pickup, yeah, we didn't get out of there until like five five thirty California five, time. Yeah, it was like five fifteen five thirty. Twenty four hundred miles, and they're receiving here close at two thirty. So <laughs> two thirty in the afternoon, yeah. no way we we're making it. Yeah. And then we told them we we'd be here by six, um, and they said, yeah, just deliver Thursday morning. First thing in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. We came to this Loves. It's a new Loves, man. It's small. It's a small. We had, we had to park we uh, there was no parking and but there was a lot of just bobtails parked in spots so Jason asked uh, this bobtail if when he was leaving and he said he's leaving out tonight so he moved so we could park behind him yeah so we're doubling up on the spot doubling up. there's a bunch of bobtails here too oh, these guys need to be doubling up there's some guys that there are poured are all the double. way forward yeah and like just completely hogging the spot and that's why i always back all the way up you know a couple reasons is so gives these guys room to when they're backing up um they they have more room to maneuver into the spot and also if somebody wanted to park in front of us you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave that extra room yeah. it's funny i i've seen people co uh, complain before about bobtails backing all the way up and i think their frustration is is they come up on a spot thinking it's an open spot and then they get up to it and somebody's backed all the way up and i'm like well that's not really a valid argument <laughs> you know i mean i'd be more frustrated that they weren't backed all the way up so i guess we all have our frustrations out out here on the road but i always think it's funny when i see people complain if you're gonna park in a spot pull all the way forward <laughs> like well the problem is like for us like jason said we don't pull we aren't all the way forward because we've we've known other people heard other people they get sideswiped yep. by the tractor trailers when they're trying, trying to, to park. Back so in and the further up. back we park, that gives them more room yep. and less likely of them hitting us. Yep. So <laughs> uh, we we were gonna park up front here because the Loves Dove does have uh, RV parking, but there was bobtails and yeah. one RV and a dump truck all parked up there. I'm like. <laughs> okay yeah well we got a spot so yay for it's, us yeah we uh I've, like, I've noticed a lot of loves are small parking lots like I this no we don't, they don't they don't do big parking they lots. don't and we don't come to loves very often but the ones we have stopped at uh, yeah I yeah think they got small parking there's a very lots. few that have big parking lots and i think this is a newer loves too like i said so. yeah it doesn't even show up on satellite no so. but uh we're like nine miles from our delivery so we'll be there first thing in the morning get this hand and saying Tyler off our truck man <laughs> what a bumpy ride what a bumpy with all ride. that white back there yeah, and yeah. I know it's because we can't push it more forward because of the wall yeah that you know the front box I, I know a lot of people have made the comment oh my gosh having your axle so far forward and there's so much hanging off the back if you put that much weight back there it's gonna make you pop willies well, what we didn't pop any willies on the way here. <laughs> no, it was just a bouncy ride. It was just there. a bouncy ride. Yeah, I mean, we great traction. Oh yeah. Uh, great handling. It handled fine. It was just an awkward, awkward haul. Yeah. 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 yeah, but everything, I mean, we drove 63 most of the way out here. Right, and very um, rarely do we, I mean, this is our heaviest load we've ever hauled yeah, since we've yeah, been yeah, doing this. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it was it was interesting. It was, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> it was not ba as bad back there as I thought it would be, though. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like, but up here, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. just like, oh my, my gut was hurting from bouncing <laughs> and bouncing. Uh, uh, Squishing your internal uh, organs. Uh, it's like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My butt, my gut. Oh my God, it all, all of it, it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we get to get a good night's sleep. We don't have any backup loads. We haven't gotten any calls been watching stuff come over the QC nothing really worth deadheading for for us or nah, even close nah, to here so nah. we'll see what happens yeah. I, I did a truck search earlier and there's quite a few trucks within 400 miles of, of Charlotte so we'll see what happens we know. will yeah we fingers got, crossed yeah fingers crossed we're gonna end it here we're gonna end this one here we'll pick up the next one with our delivery or after we get delivered yeah. so stay tuned see what happens Sounds the cute. rest of this week <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Are you guys playing back oh, there? Oh, they're playing. They're playing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Get her. Got a thing for you, and I can't let go. Oh. Where are you going, Tyson? Get over here, right now.